Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 21st. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, all right? So this is around the 21st. This reading may or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. We are just going to see what comes up. It's been a very busy day, so that was today, though. Let's see what happens in the future. See if things are going to quiet down. Um, something funny just happened. What well, wasn't funny. But, you know, I had the, the white owl that was sitting here for a long time. For the last week or two. Before. Not recently. So, the, about a week ago, I had this white owl. It's been here. It's, a, it's uh, you know, it's about this tall. And uh, I've been keeping it on my windowsill out in the uh, living room. And I brought it in here for the segment. And um, then I decided to put it back like, oh, four or five days ago, put it back on the window in my living room. And so far this window, nobody goes near that window ever. <laughs> but I can see it every time I sit on the couch. But anyhow, um, I just walked out into the living room to get my memory card because it was out there. And... Um, I was standing right in the middle of the living room, and that, I swear to God, that freaking owl, I don't know what happened, but it just, whoop, hit the ground. Like, jumped off the fucking windowsill, so I don't know what happened. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't near the window, I was, I was literally, I mean, in the middle of the living room, the, you know, so I don't know if somebody tripped and fell, or, you know, owls are a symbol of, uh, transformation, symbol of, uh, you know, uh, a major change. They're a symbol of death. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know what that was. I don't know why it happened, but I went over and I picked it up. I picked up the owl and I tried to set it back on the windowsill. And it's like the fucking, excuse my language. It's like the foot is something. It, I could, it wouldn't stand up. It wouldn't stand up. And I'm like, what, what? It wouldn't stand back up. So I, I, tr I kept trying. I, I was like, okay, I kept trying to put it on the windowsill and it wouldn't stand up, wouldn't stand up. So finally I had to bend the foot. I don't know what happened, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, very interesting to say the least. So what do we got for today? What do we have for today? Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. This is a new vision. This is a new vision. This is something that is very bright. Okay, see how bright that is? This is, okay, this could be a new discovery of some sort. I want to get the rest of the cards. This time I'm going to do it. And I had decided that I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands reversed. The Page of Wands reversed is not good news. This is not good news, okay? And this is a message you don't want to hear. There's, there, It is. Now, we are dealing with, we could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Gemini, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here, but somebody sees a bright opportunity. This is bright. Okay, that is a bright opportunity. Um, a golden opportunity at that. So this is a big, big, it's a big, bright opportunity. This is a, it's like, this is so attractive. This is an attractive opportunity that could bring somebody some sort of new relationship, 
okay? Because this is a new friendship or a new relationship or even a reunion or of some sort. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles is some sort of gift, okay? It's a gift or something that... Re this is being given to you. This is a gift being given to you from somebody. Somebody is going to be giving somebody a gift. Somebody is going down a new path. And it's like they go down this path. This is a path. There's a path here too. It's like somebody decides to go down a new path and they see this big, huge, bright, golden opportunity. So there is a big, huge, bright, golden opportunity here. This is blocking and this is blocking. So somebody has been blocking. And they've been, well, they, what they've been doing, they've been clinging to the past, clinging to the memories, clinging to something, clinging to a situation. They may have been clinging to something for the children. They, they weren't moving forward. They couldn't master their emotions. There was fear in the way. But now this opportunity, it's like it's so big. It's so bright. It's so exciting. It's like you, it's like you just, you can't help but to take it because it's such a big golden opportunity. It really is. So, um, somebody could be losing their balance with this temperance reversed. This is something that is out of balance and the lover's card is too. So there is some sort, and this is a, this could be a relationship that is coming to an end. I know that a lot of people, they forget that tens are completions, but tens are completions. Okay. So this is like the end of a relationship that is not balanced. It's not harmonious. There's no compromise. There's extreme highs and lows. And it's like somebody makes a sudden decision after being in a restricting themselves, uh, not seeing the truth, not accepting the truth, not uh, wanting to move forward because of, it feels like there's codependency here. So it's like somebody was holding on to a relationship and now they, they got this new, this could be a new partnership. You know, some, some, it's like somebody gets this new opportunity to work with somebody else or to be with somebody else or to be happy with somebody else. But they were stalling. Fear was in the way. Um, the Page of Swords is, is a messenger. This messenger delivers a very um, tough message. Okay, this message comes across as it could be a little uh, brash because this person is quite to the point. Uh, they, they, they're... they're giving a message that isn't based on emotion. It's based on facts. So I think that somebody is going to receive a factual message in the next day or two, or it could even happen the next, could happen very soon. This is very soon because I feel like somebody has been blocking a new beginning here. They've been blocking their own uh, success because they were clinging to, to the past, clinging to a situation, clinging to the memories. Seriously, this is clinging to the past, unable to let go. But it feels, it feels as though it's like they've, they've crossed that bridge and they've decided, because this is making the decision, make, to make a stressful decision to let go of a relationship and that's what this is and I think there's another relationship here there always is with the lover's card that and this card okay there's another relationship here somebody is probably this this is probably ready to make some compromises it's like they're ready it's like it's like maybe it's even out of their hands it's out of their control it's like I feel as though it's like the time is now, whether you like it or not. I feel like we have, this is somebody that is upset, somebody that is angry or may get upset, may get angry. This person can't concentrate, can't focus, definitely um, unbalanced for sure. It's like they, 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 their equilibrium may even be off. So this could be somebody that uh, loses their balance and... Or loses their ability to cope. It feels like they can't cope. They can't cope with a situation. 
they can't cope with a partnership, a union of some sort. It's like this just isn't compatible. Now, a partnership could be with anybody. It could be with a family member. There's just an incompatible or incompatible partnership here, which causes somebody a lot of disharmony and uproar in their life, per se. And I feel like we have somebody here that, like, suddenly, this is makes a decision to open up their eyes. It's like they get this new vision. It's funny, I started it out with new vision. They get this new eye, this new creative spark right this new desire it's like I know there's something bigger I know there's something better and they decide to take it it's like they decide to take it I do feel like it is a sudden decision so I think that somebody is or has been unable to face their fears because that's what this one is about letting go of something and this could have to do with children Somebody may um, be deciding even to fight for their children. That could be part of it. Or to choose children over a spouse. There could be a fight between spouse and children. You know what I mean? That is causing a lot of inner chaos. And we, it's like we have, like, it could be a father. that is They just can't cope. I can't cope with this. Um, there is a, a, a union here that is not compatible. It's not compatible. Um, so they may, somebody may have been dealing with somebody that was keeping secrets, that had hidden agendas, that um, was childish. They could have been dealing with a very childish individual that um, uses emotional blackmail as a tool to get their own way. I feel there could be a conflict between a child and a mother, just saying that causes the father, there could be a, a and it could be father, mother, uh, it could be stepmother, it could be uh, mother-in-law, that kind of thing. It's like there's a child, mother, father conflict here, okay? And I think that there's, it's a big one. I think it's, it's like, a, it's like it's some sort of family feud. And I think that we have somebody here that, um, may lose their cool because they receive some sort of message uh, that uh, causes them to, you know, flip, flip their lid because the temperance reverse, this is somebody that can get very frustrated so and very moody. So, and I, what happens is that I think that a secret is going to be revealed or there's a secret that somebody may... Uh, yeah, reveal. This person may, you know, tell a secret to somebody and it causes uh, somebody else to get really, really, really frustrated. Somebody is dealing with an individual who is uh, emotionally unbalanced and this person has hidden agendas. They have secrets. And I think that we have this person over here that is going to become aware of it. And they're going to become aware of those secrets. Um, somebody may have been holding on to something just for the money, just for the stability of it. Somebody could have been hoarding money, hiding money, and, uh, somebody finds out something like that. Um, now the three of wands, this is some, something is arriving, something. This person sees a passionate opportunity to get out. This is, and it's not, passionate is the word, isn't the right word. They see a, it's really a golden opportunity, right? They see an, an exit. That's what this is. It's like this person, see, he sees an exit. This, that's, that looks so good to me. I want out. Somebody sees an exit. That's what I see. This is an opportunity to exit. It's like this golden opportunity arrives. And it's like they knew it was going to come. They were just waiting for the moment. And this is a moment. This is sudden. This is at a moment's notice. So this is like a sudden, I think it's a departure of some sort. I do. I think it is a sudden departure. It's like this person cannot hold on anymore. This is too much. It's too much. It is. I feel like it's really too much. And I feel like... It's time to have fun 
you know, it's time to just live. Mm, the Empress Reverse. Somebody is dealing with a very selfish individual. Somebody that is smothering. Somebody that doesn't take care of them. This person may have cheated. This person may have involved themselves in a third party situation. And that is what gets revealed. There is going to be a reveal. There is definitely going to be. I know that there is. Get prepared for it because there is. There's going to be a, a, an upcoming reveal. There's like a very selfish feminine here. Okay. This is a feminine. Female. If you're in a same sex relationship and you are two males. This is the feminine. We have a feminine here who has been selfish. She has probably engaged herself with people she shouldn't have. She's maybe a gossip. Uh, it's like she's caused a lot of problems. She's uh, smothering. She needs a lot of attention. She doesn't care who she hurts. And she may have engaged herself in something and she gets caught. I also feel as though today is a day where somebody, they may have engaged in sex with somebody and that wasn't where I was going with that, but it just came out of my mouth. I was going someplace else, but now that's gone because that's what they wanted me to say. I, get, I have to listen. Somebody had sex with somebody that they were not, you know, bound to. They weren't committed to, but they were in a commitment already. Just saying that. I don't know who that is for. I don't know who that is for, but I feel like they were trying to hide the truth. But I think the truth is going to be revealed if that is for you. I also feel like somebody engaged in family drama. There's a lot of family drama here. Caused a lot of problems with the family. This could have been an, uh, uh, the mother or a mother-in-law or a mother. Some sort of... Uh, well, this person may have wanted to be the mother, but she wasn't the mother. You know what I mean? She she tried to be the mother. She she may have said that she was the mother, but she wasn't the mother. You know, that kind of bullshit. So anyway, um, stupidness. So anyway, I feel like there's about to be an upcoming conflict. Okay, be prepared. Get prepared for it because it's going to happen. I feel as though somebody hasn't been, somebody's been hiding the truth and the truth is going to be revealed. It's like we have somebody here that is very petty. This person is vindictive. This person likes to cause trouble and they're about to uh, say something that they shouldn't say that is going to open a can of worms. So be prepared. Get prepared for that. Somebody sees a golden opportunity to cause problems. Just say, just saying. That's what I see. That is what I see. Well, um, I think there's the end, there's the, there's, there's a contract that is coming to an end and somebody has been, and been, been biding their time, biding their time and waiting for the moment, waiting for the moment to depart. And I think the moment is, has come. Okay. Um, there could be a new sexual partner coming in. Just if this is go going in a different direction, this could be a new partnership coming in. This could be a golden opportunity. You could meet this person out, out and about socializing with your friends. This could be somebody that you, you know, maybe you've been getting prepared for this person. But I still have to tell you to be really careful. Be really careful here because I feel like whoever is coming in um, or has entered this situation it's not about a relationship. It's really not. It's not about love. It's about this is a golden opportunity to sink my teeth in. That's what. It, and that's sad, but that's what I see. There's really no love in these cards. This is the end of a relationship. I think somebody's uh, selfishness, somebody's uh, overindulging is going to cause somebody, the masculine, to get frustrated. And I think that the masculine is going to... Um, Depart, honestly. 
I do. I feel like this this Queen of Cups is in reverse. This is somebody who is very emotional and does use emotional blackmail as a tool. Okay? So this person, you know, may use every trick in the book. The High Priestess reversed to get their way and it's causing this person to be very frustrated. I think this person, it's like they, they, they realize something. I think they realize something about the person that they are dealing with. This definitely has to do with, with family. It has to do with children. I think there's about to be um, some upheaval. So get prepared for it. That is what I see. Good luck.